We all know that pets can bring a whole lot of comfort to our lives. And one special animal is doing just that at the Crisis Nursery in Urbana. Storyteller Erin Valley is here with us now. She met up with one volunteer and her therapy dog. Yeah, so this shelter really goes out of their way to make kids in a tough situation feel a lot better. And what better way to spark a little bit of joy than a big curly poodle? It's a good boy, you stay, okay? It's a good boy. Meet Jane Fryfogel. What are you looking at? Awesome. <laughs> and her therapy dog, Herbie. Okay, let's go. Let's go see the kids over here. Jane is a former social worker and has volunteered at the Crisis Nursery in Urbana for five years now. I came to it because of a recommendation from a friend who said they needed extra help during the summer when the students were gone. But it was three years ago. <gasps> Herbie came to see you. When Jane decided to share her love of comforting children with a very special partner. The whole notion of therapy dogs, or they're often called comfort dogs, is to um, provide a way for folks to interact, to pet, to be close to another being that's very calm, um, very soothing. Kirby, a nine-year-old standard poodle, is certified by the Alliance of Therapy Dogs. Oh, thank you. Oh, can you say, Herbie, sit. And Jane says he makes an excellent companion for children who might be in need of a happy distraction. He's a great diversion, you know, for kids that are here and can be a way to play. Kids will come up and hug him. Oh, perfect. Oh, there he is. He's all covered up. Good job. He just, he knows what, he's, what to do. He just stays very still. And so they can play with him, they can pet him, they can hug him. Some kids might respond to Herbie. There are lots of different kinds of reactions. A little differently than others. I'm just always interested in how kids initially look at him and because he's a big dog and they're little kids. Jane says it's all part of the experience. And with a mellow and trained poodle like Herbie, there's probably no better dog to reach out to with a cautious hand. I think kids can get um, a lot out of experiencing something new. You know, if they are very anxious or hesitant initially and they might watch other kids or other people interact with him, then they kind of move towards being able to reach out very tentatively. Um, that's fun to see. You know, Herbie is just, yeah. he's such a great, mellow dog, and I love okay. sharing him with people. Good job. Oh, oh thank oh. you. And your chance to give is coming up. Mark your calendars for WCIA's Day of Giving on December 3rd. It benefits Crisis Nursery locations, Crisis Nursery locations across central Illinois. We're accepting monetary donations as well as wish list items like diapers, formula, and baby wipes. We'll connect you to that on CILiving.tv.